Christmas. Ryan, it's Christmas. Is it Christmas Day? No, it's 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 actually. I'm just kidding. It's, uh, it's December seventeenth the... at uh, one forty-seven a.m. and we're gonna do a podcast episode. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. It's great. I'm excited. Yeah, dude. I can't wait. It's, we're gonna uh, we're gonna do a little holiday podcast episode. At at what time? One forty-seven in the morning. One forty-seven a.m. <laughs> That's right. Most in the people van. would be in a sh- in a warm shower, getting ready for bed, or in bed already, wrapped up, nice, snug, and warm in their bed. Mm-hmm. But others are alone and uh, on a truck route, which is probably also warm because you're inside the truck. Hopefully, if they're if if their shit's working, their heat. How warm are you, bro? Not warm at all. It's forty six degrees. Or it's forty eight, but it feels like forty six. You can see my breath in this podcast. It'll be colder when we head home to South Carolina. I'm heading home in two days. Uh, I was supposed to be heading out today, technically on the 17th, but uh, we got more super mega work to do, so I pushed my flight back a day. But everybody, ladies and gents, welcome back to Super Mega Cast, Snowy right. Mega Cast, and welcome to uh, another episode where we are doing it in the van. And but- before anything goes too out of control this is a special podcast this is this is, does not declare that we are going to be doing live action from this point onward because a lot of people got confused the last time we did live action that will be in 2022 oh. the live action the permanent live the action set's podcast. almost done we just need the fucking purple curtains purple or curtains the and, and the lights purple curtains? i I'm, I'm i'm waiting on them purple curtains we just need the purple curtains and we need the uh, couch, the seats, everything. We got there. It all that. We got this. We got the furniture. We just need the the last decorations, the logo, and the lights. And the lights, uh, Jackson's handling, and he's been talking to some professional that's coming in, measuring the room, and getting lights set up. Um, but when we're back from like our little Christmas holiday break in uh, 2022, uh, early mm-hmm. January, that's like the I'm going hard on like we're not doing anything until this set is done. And we're ready to go because I'm ready to get this live action podcast rolling. It because it's good. It it it's definitely gonna feel different than what this usually feels like. I, I'm like I am aware there's a, a camera, but it doesn't feel all too different. No, it's something also that you get used to. Like right now, Over I've time I've already pretty much forgotten that I'm on camera for yeah. a second. And I think that the less we like hone in on that, there, there'll be some times where we probably try to do an audio joke. But it doesn't really land because we're like, oh, wait a second. You can well, see us. But you, you're always like, we can black the screen out. Mm-hmm. Black the screen out and... Like when I do this and shoot you in the face. Right, you know. See? It I, worked perfectly. I just put away my gun when the, when the screen went black. And for you audio That's the only listeners, one I'm doing you had no idea. You had no idea that, that, you know, that it wasn't just a perfectly flawless joke. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, because the last time we did this, it was for... Uh, spooky mega cast where we did it in the van. Mm-hmm. Um, spooky decorations mm-hmm. uh, by Layton. By Layton. And Layton, Layton also Stoller got design. this set up. And you guys liked it a lot, but a lot of people were like, oh, wow, they gave up that quick? It's like, no, that was just a special, pretty sure we said it in the episode. It's just a one off episode. And also kind of just testing the waters for doing a live action one. But now we are doing this one, and then there's probably going to be a couple more episodes left of Super Mega Cast where it's. Um, going to be audio only um but definitely before episode 300 we should be full-blown live action is is what i'm guessing i'm i'm hoping so because uh, it's the sets the sets already almost done and also you know i i wanted this we've we've talked a lot about wanting to do the live action podcast i think it's time we set that conversation aside for now Move on to something a little a little more important, Matt. A little more important. More important than that? A, a big congratulations to one of our employees, Jackson Alexander Tucker Silva. <gasps> Jackson Alexander Tucker Silva? And if you're wondering, wait, not just Jackson Tucker. Wait. No, Jackson Tucker Silva because... Where did the Silva come from, Ryan? His girl, fiance. <gasps> fiance? Yep. That implies that he got engaged. Yes, yeah. Uh, so congratulations, Jackson. Congratulations, I'm sure there's Jackson. applause. Yeah, I'm putting some applause sound okay, effects in. Okay, and okay. we'll throw some in for yeah. Jackson. Jackson, one of our best friends and super mega uh, uh, collaborator. Decided to take two months off from work mm-hmm. to go get engaged go in Puerto, Puerto Rico. Rico. He went to Puerto Rico with his girlfriend, Bella, and uh, 
Then I looked on Instagram and they were engaged. Yep. Uh, which the night before we were looking for uh, the Elgato capture card to record some Let's Plays. Uh, which we did record a Let's mm-hmm. Play. And there we have some good ones on the way. Uh, Pokemon? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> gotta, gotta get that soy face on, I, I cut back and forth so it showed yours oh, and mine. What I want right now. What? A Korean corn dog. A Korean corn dog? I ordered some the other night. I ordered them twice, actually. Like, like twice in one week. The ones you ordered the- some the other night? Yeah. You can't be eating that shit. Korean corn dogs? It's awful for you. No, I can I can eat that shit. I'm bulking up. I need calories. It's not going to bulk you up. I need I need a lot of calories. I, mean, I can I guess still you do, do fat, fat and shit. Yeah. You need a lot of protein. I need a lot of teen. How much did you eat today? Uh, Not a lot. Well, Bastard. part of it was my or- half my order didn't arrive. Did you do your 100 it. push-ups? No. How many sit-ups are you supposed to do? None. How many pull-ups? None. How many push-ups? Uh, I'm supposed to be doing, um, well, we'll get into this later because we, we haven't said why yet. No, no, no. We'll, so we'll, we'll say, talk we'll say about the it. exercise talk for when people, people know the reason for this Exactly. Season. And then it'll be an even bigger discussion. Yeah. So but again, congratulations to, uh, Jackson, Jackson Tucker Silva. He is now engaged and we'll be getting married. And he was like, the, the night before when we were looking for the Elgato capture card, mm. He, I was had him on speakerphone. You and I were by ourselves at the office, walking around, trying to find it. And he's like, "Oh, by the way, Matt, uh, call me later. I got something exciting to talk to you about." And I hung up, and you looked at me, and you were like, "He's getting married, one hundred percent. That's what that is." I knew it. And I had this. I had this sinking feeling that a man's rights were about to be taken away from him. Uh huh. They were about to click the old ball and chain shackle on his leg. <sighs> and now he's taking her last name. It's just sad to see. To see. Hey, you know what? Hey. Goodbye to one of the boys. Hey, man. I'll drink to that. R.I.P. May I never be happily married. <laughs> no. And I, I, me too. And I will be married, just not happily. You know? You okay? You don't like that? It's pure vodka. Wait. Where's my Christmas juice? I don't know. Did I bring my Christmas juice? Do, did you bring your Christmas juice? Did you? Where's your Christmas juice? Oh, it's right there. Hold on. I don't want to get lit on fire. Oh, I put the candle out. Whoops. You want me to relight it? No, it's like broken. That's our only bit of warmth in here. I is got my part, Christmas is this, juice. Is this part of you bulking up? Yeah, this is my uh, special bulking up fluids. <laughs> so, we ordered BJ's. So what is this? It's a virgin? <laughs> what? It's a virgin. Yeah, I haven't stuck my dick in it just yet. Shut the fuck up. It's a what? It, what what's the drink? It's a motherfucker. It's, it's a Shirley Temple. I ordered a Shirley Temple with dinner because I know it's a child's drink. But I'm ordering dinner and I was like, you know what? <laughs> That sounds kind of good. I love how it has the BJ's logo on it, too. Hold that up for the I people to see, Matthew. Temple, and I thought it would come like a little styrofoam cup, and it's this. It's this fucking bag of juice. Whoa, look at that waveform. The top one. Hey. Is that no, mine? no, it's working, but look how weird that sound, like where the sound goes, like see, dips down that. in the beginning. Oh. It's coming, it's touching my microphone. I was like, that's an interesting looking waveform. I ain't rarely seen things like that before. Healthy, good for my muscles and my body. <laughs> oh yeah. And you know what? Uh, it, it's it's a Shirley Temple, which is a child's drink, which is just Sprite and grenadine. And uh, you know what I really hate about Los Angeles is that oh, there goes my mic. The diversity. Well, that's one thing that I really can't stand. But yeah, yeah, yeah. But mainly, it's it's that when you order soda. Uh, at a restaurant pop. or even coffee. Yeah, when you order some pop or some covfefe, okay. you can taste the L.A. water through the coffee or the soda because you know that they use, they just use like the tap water um, to make the soda. Uh, so, yeah, it's just like even through that, I could still taste that like public pool taste because L.A. water to me tastes maybe like Maybe it's a, just, maybe they're just using, because L.A.'s tap water is very strong. It has a strong mm-hmm. flavor to it. Like I... Sometimes I'll go I'll go to a nice public park. I'll 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 run around a little bit, get myself all all, all sweaty and tired and mm-hmm. I'll go start trying out the water fountains uh, cuz I'll be thirsty. Worst things in the ever. Like if you want like the only thing worse than regular tap water is is park water fountain. It tastes like the the metal pipes. It just tastes like the pipes that I, it can't be good at all. It has no. to be awful. It tastes like the pipes and it tastes like a lot of chlorine and and it's it's always very like lukewarm like room temperature and it tastes like pennies pennies yeah it yeah. tastes like like copper and and it's also sometimes has that sulfur taste like eggs you know, 
you know. It's an acquired taste. Yeah, you know. I like it because it reminds me of pussy. You know what I'm saying, dude? High yeah. five with our feet right Your there. Your own mommy's pussy. Hey! <laughs> Come on, man. Not on the holiday episode. Do you miss your mommy? I do miss my mommy. I haven't seen her uh, since July. Cry about it. <laughs> well, I will. Not during the podcast, but when I go home, I will. Mm. Yeah, I know. I usually do. I know you will. Okay, yeah, you do know I will, because I'll go home and I'll be really sad. Yeah, I bet. You miss your mom, dude? Yes. You're going to cry about it. I can see it in your eyes. You have those sad fucking puppy dog eyes, and when you go home, you're going to cry yourself to sleep about your mother. Because you can't, you can't fucking breastfeed on her every single night out in the Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Where's your mic? I don't, my mic is, it, he, you kicked it out of my face, and now it's pointing away, so you can't even hear my voice regularly. Ryan, please tilt it back to me. You have long limbs. Ryan, if I grab it from right there, it's going to make the mic tilt down. It's a very finicky, sensitive mic. Okay, hold on. Ryan, come on, dude. Do it quicker. My voice is not being picked up right now by the mic very well. There we go. Aim it right at... Okay, yeah. Right at the ceiling, buddy. <laughs> Thanks a lot. You're welcome, dude. I wonder if I still sound good. <laughs> Bro, I mean, you always sound good, brother. Ryan! I was listening to that... Uh, we were talking about this on another podcast. I tuned into the live stream, and I was thoroughly impressed by... Uh, I don't know what the title of the song ah, is. Ah, shucks, bro. I keep forgetting the title. Gassing me up. It. Thank you. Work it out. Work it out. It's a song that I made that's not out yet that Ryan Ryan actually enjoys. So thank you. That means a lot. That really, when it, you know. I enjoy, I, en I enjoy Joy Margie. Thank you. There's, you know, there's not a lot of, uh, you know, you always flatter me, Ryan. You always make me feel good when you say things to me, but. But when you when whenever you whenever you mention something about when you, when you say you like my music, I'm not a big music guy. When you go out of your way to say that you like my music, you, I I got that being fully real with you, it really, it makes me feel uh, a high like no other. You know, other friends could tell me they liked it or whatever. It's all, it's like wow. But when Ryan McGee tells me, Are you it's just like, telling me what I want to hear. No, no. Tell me what little I'm, Ryan. I mean, wants that's to hear. what I want to hear. It's what, what you say. So <laughs> it feels really really good. So thank you. Yeah. Uh, I hate. I I honestly do hate that I couldn't be there. You uh, saw my expression at the Apple Pan where I was like, I didn't know about this fucking show. That, and I saw your expression when the, the family walked in of different descent. There's no reason to mix it up. S cultures are different for their separate reasons. Right, exactly. <laughs> Whatever. See, <clears throat> you know what, when we, have, when we have like the live action podcast, it's going to be a lot easier for people to cut those jokes out of context and just make it just look even worse. Because oh, we do play it straight, like even when we do the audio versions, like we play it like straight But face. now you have two white men's faces being like, those cultures should not mix with a fully <laughs> straight face. No, but- With but, like Christmas decorations <laughs> around them. <laughs> a guy with a what's up Grinch's hoodie, like, <laughs> I tell you what, if we had our own state and they had theirs, that's all I'm saying. A lot of problems solved girl complimented the hoodie today again a different girl though you're getting compliments out the wazoo over that hoodie i was at a dispensary buying some edibles to see the new spider-man with no welvin this time no welvin this time it was a different dispensary uh, across town and uh i was going to get uh some some money from the atm because it was cash only mm-hmm and as I was turning around and walking towards the ATM, some someone from behind the register, one of one of the ladies working, <laughs> Ooh. those one of those bombshells, yeah, uh, goes, hey, I love your hoodie. Oh, and I was like, I turned around and like gave like I had a mask on, but I'm bad at socializing, and I should have been like thanks, but I didn't audibly say anything because then I heard her ask, did he hear me? And then, <laughs> the, then the other goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. So. But, you know but then I was super nice afterwards, so she knew that I wasn't, oh. like, pissed. I thought that was the end of the conversation, because I was like, you left a lot to be desired. Well, I told you about... Did I tell the story about... Now, well, the comments might have to decide, but doesn't... The Apple Pan girl, this story... This is the story for ages. You She's told me, and I, 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 know, I saw it firsthand disclaimer, before you even told me. Disclaimer, this isn't me pining after someone in real life. This is this is this is her pining after someone exactly. In real life named this Ryan is this her coming after me, okay? But like, tell me this doesn't sound like some like fucking <clears throat> bullshit high school love story type shit, right? Go to the Apple Pan. Which for those who don't 
No, it was an Wonderful incredible burger, burger place in Los Angeles. Jack Black's favorite. We talked about it before because you had it for the first time, and we talked about burgers. Like, uh, I don't know if because we're bulking. I don't know if that episode comes out after this one or not. That one was one seventy five or something. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So, you, so if you haven't listened though, that's it's or a burger 77. place. One of the two. I think it's seventy five. This is seventy six, maybe, and this is seventy six. Okay. Well, the girl that you know, this 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 last, she works the registers, mm-hmm. and I and I. The first, like, two, probably two times I went to the Apple Pan, two, three times, I had this shirt on, This sorry, this hoodie, my favorite hoodie, the uh, What's Up Grinch's hoodie. It is legitimately my favorite hoodie. It's not just any hoodie. The What's Up Grinch's hoodie is the Ryan McGee classic. <laughs> it used to be black shirt and black gym shorts. And now like, it's What's Up I Grinch's. Do, I do change. I do you change. do, man. You evolve. It takes years. <laughs> There's and years in between. I think that... That we got that from Walmart or Target for a Christmas tree video in the past, like mm-hmm. number three or four, maybe, maybe number three, like two. I I, I don't remember. We, but we got the hoodie because it said Jackson bought Jackson it. Jackson got it for I think out like in the store. It says What's Up four. Grinches, and it was for a Christmas Probably video. Three or four. Which one? And and then you just took it home or whatever, and now it's it's, it's your mine. go-to hoodie. It's so and, comfortable. And it looks like it looks like it's just so heavy, and like I feel like I'm just being hugged it's by. It's a nice it. color. Any good on you. Apple pan lass. Mm-hmm. So I wear this hoodie. And one day I go and uh, I'm wearing the hoodie again. This is probably actually the third or fourth time I've been there. She goes, you wearing the same hoodie? And I'm like, I-, I am. She's like, you've worn that a few times, haven't you? Come in here. I'm like, I have. Oh. It's my favorite hoodie. She's like, okay. And blah, 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 blah. She remembered. She remembered. She sees tons of people a day, too. And then another time I go there. This is with you, maybe my fifth time mm-hmm. going to the Apple Pan. What was different that time, Ryan? I wasn't wearing this. Nope. But I go up to the window, and she's at the cash register, and she goes, Oh, I see that you're not wearing your hoodie this time. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, Oh, no, I, yeah, I decided to switch things up. You know, play, I'm playing, a, we're, we're having some verbal you know, banter back and it's forth. Verbal coitus to me. <laughs> you yeah, have two sentences. But like it's this thing where, hey, eventually like I'm I'm gonna have been going there for twenty years no, about five years. I'll become a regular. We'll start she'll start noticing like how my hoodies are changing. Are those new slides, Mr. McGee? I'm like, you don't have to call me Mr. McGee. You can call me Ryan. Please. It's Ryan from Super Mega. And and then she goes no, then she goes, okay, Ryan from Super Mega. And I'm like, you know what? Drop the from Super Mega. Just Ryan. <laughs> and that's where we fall in love. I don't know. To me, it just it just kind of comes across as like one of those old-fashioned, like the grandfather it's, stories. How, like, how did you She worked at a movie theater. You know, your grandmother worked at her mom and pop's restaurant. And I, I love their food, but... I love seeing your mom even more. And I started going, not your for the food, but just for your grandmother. I'd order the same shake. I'd get sick to my stomach of ordering the same chocolate shake each time. But it was all worth it just to get a glimpse of your grandma. <laughs> you know, one of those fucking yeah, it's stories. Like, it's like, how did you meet grandma? <laughs> well... I had this hoodie, you see. <laughs> the what? The what? What's up, Grinches? Wh- or what up, Grinches? What, it's, what was it? It read, what's up, Grinches? And you, now, have, you, you have it, you like pull it out of a box and you're now like... this was the most comfortable. I'm like holding it. Now this was the most comfortable hoodie I'd ever owned in my life. I gotta say, for a, like a, like a Walmart or Target uh, brand hoodie... It's I will nice. say, I, yeah, but I'm also surprised that the that the print where it says "What up, Grinches" has, has lasted has so many washes, such quality. Or you just haven't washed and it's it lifted ever, but, a little bit. Yeah, it's a it's a uh, that looks like it's it's like that type of uh, printing method where it's like the plastisol something ink. <laughs> and now I'm wearing it at the appropriate time so it doesn't look too off. I mean, you wear it in like June and stuff. Like <laughs> I that. know it looks good no, now. But now it's the perfect time to wear it. It just it just makes you look like a guy who's always in the holiday uh, spirit, you know. Well, I am in the holiday spirit. Me and too. And so are our advertisers. Yeah, they are. So, uh, ho ho ho, 
Merry Christmas. Uh, we got a lot of them this week because it's the week before Christmas. <laughs> yeah. So uh, we hope you guys enjoy. We try to make them fun. Um, and you can you could skip them if you like. Uh, but, just Let's just get them over yeah, with. Yeah, let's get them over with. But because we're doing live action, it makes up for it. So we'll be back after these commercial messages. Happy holidays. Are you the kind of person who falls asleep already thinking about the next morning's coffee? You just can't wait for it. Would you consider yourself a certified coffee nerd or a self-professed coffee newbie? Either way, you need to hear about Trade. Trade's goal is to make every cup of coffee your best cup of coffee ever. The journey to your perfect cup starts with taking their coffee quiz. Use a French press? Automatic drip? You a cold brew person? No problem. Your answers will allow Trade to pair you with the perfect coffee to fit your taste. Trade will match you to coffees you'll love from 400 plus craft coffees and will send you a freshly roasted bag as often as you like. Trade guarantees you'll love your first match. On the off chance you don't, they'll replace it with a different bag for free. Give feedback as you sip. As your preferences evolve, your coffee matches will too. You can feel good about each cup since Trade partners with 55 plus small US based roasters who are committed to ethical and sustainable sourcing. Ah, uh, you guys know me, I love coffee. I went online, I took Trade's quiz, and they paired me up with a delectable little coffee blend they sent me and believe it or not I loved it on the first sip I was like all right I didn't need that replacement it's delicious and um I get different ones every now and then just to try out trade is fantastic and for our listeners right now trade is offering your first bag of coffee for free and five dollars off your bundle at checkout to get yours go to drinktrade.com super and use promo code super take the quiz to start your journey to the perfect cup that's drinktrade.com slash super, promo code super, for your first bag free and $5 off your bundle. And this holiday season, give the coffee lover in your life the gift of better coffee too with their own personalized gift coffee subscription from Trade. Enjoy. Sip, sip, sip. If you dread looking at your credit card statements, you're not alone. The weight of debt can be crippling, but Upstart can help you on your path to financial freedom. Upstart is the fast and easy way to pay off your debt with a personal loan all online. Whether it's paying off credit cards, consolidating high interest debt, or funding personal expenses, over a million people have used Upstart to get one fixed monthly payment with a clear payoff date. Rather than looking at credit score alone, Upstart considers other factors like your income, current employment, and credit history to find you a smarter rate for your loan. You can check your rate without impacting your credit score in minutes for loans between $1,000 to $50,000. You can even receive funds as fast as one business day after accepting your loan. I've said it before and I've said it again. McGee's Lemonade Stands would not be where they are today without Upstart and their wonderful deals on their loans. Yep. Find out how Upstart can lower your monthly payments today when you go to upstart.com slash supermega. That's upstart.com slash supermega. Don't forget to use our URL to let them know we sent you. Loan amounts will be determined based on your credit income and certain other information provided in your loan application. Upstart.com slash supermega. Today's episode of the Super Mega Cast is sponsored by Honey. We all shop online, and we've all seen that promo code field taunt us at checkout. But thanks to Honey, manually searching for coupon codes is a thing of the past. Honey is the free browser extension that scours the internet for promo codes and applies the best one it finds to your cart. Honey supports over 30,000 online stores, ranging from sites that have tech and gaming products to popular fashion brands and even food delivery, which is what I use it for. Here's how it works. Imagine you're shopping on one of your favorite sites. When you go to checkout, the Honey button drops down, goes hey guys i'm here and all you gotta do is click apply coupons wait a few seconds as honey searches for coupons it can find for that site and if it finds working coupons you'll watch the prices drop like magic we recently ordered a couch uh for our super mega cast set for the 2022 live action edition of super mega cast and honey saved us 60 dollars on that couch that's 60 dollars we wouldn't have even known we could save but Honey, the free plugin, just came came over and just said, here you go, save some money. Now Honey has found its over 17 million members, over $2 billion in savings. So if you don't already have Honey, you're missing out on free money. It's literally free and installs in just a few seconds. I was shocked at how easy it is to install. I thought it was going to be a whole sign-up process, this, that. Nope, super easy, just a few seconds. And by getting it, you'll be doing yourself a solid and supporting Super Megacast. Get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash megacast. That's joinhoney.com slash megacast. Stop waving. We're back. Merry Christmas. We're back. Stop waving. And we're continuing the podcast. That was our first ad break. Yeah, it was. Believe it or not. <laughs> Um, There's going to be five more. We have to remember that there is an hour and 20-something minutes of storage space on the cameras. 
I believe. I could see the red light is on behind yours, so as soon as that red light goes off, I, I know it's that it's... But then it's already too late. It stopped recording by that point. Right. I'm keeping, I'm keeping an eye out. Look at... Get, say hi to them on that I camera. I can't read. God, we know you can't read, Ryan. That's why I had to write the book. You know? Real funny. <laughs> I, you know what? The book makes a great Christmas gift. Can you guys shut the fuck up about your book? No, we're proud of it. Fuck off. We can we can go to town about our book for at least a month. I would have made it free if I could because I just want the whole world to read it. But, you know, I'm a if capitalist. If I could buy the world a book, it would be Super, super mega, mega Saves, saves the, the Troops. troops. Uh, also, we saw, uh, we saw, we saw one, one high schooler, a 16 year old. I did. didn't. Matt did. No, I didn't see a high schooler. He met up with him. Well, no, what, that's not what I'm Starbucks. saying. Nope. Absolutely not. <laughs> what I'm saying is that on Reddit, we saw, we saw, uh, one, one of y'all teenagers did a book report on Super Mega Saves the Troops in front of your whole class. You were very brave. You were very, very, very brave. And we commend you for that. Yeah. So, so we, we commend you for, for choosing our book to do a book report on. And also, uh, in that same vein, anybody else who has to do a book report of a book of their choosing, whether you're in middle school, high school, college, or... Or if you just love writing book reports. Just for fun, for no one else to ever see. This is your chance for people well, to we'll see Well, we'll see them. it. Go, uh, go post those online. Put them on Reddit or something. Like At us. We want to read your book reports, your reviews. I would love to, like... Uh, I want to see people's genuine reactions of the book. 3,000 words, minimum. Yeah. Okay. And make sure that it's in MLA format, mm -hmm. not Chicago style, whatever the fuck that is. We didn't learn that one. You're doing a a, a word count, not a page count? Okay, 3,000 pages. Okay, then. good, good. Um, man, I, do, you, do you remember that feeling of having to write a report? Yeah. Writing an essay, a report? It sucked. I always procrastinated. And I remember oh, my God, I did too. The last big time was like s senior year, first half of senior year, I just had to get shit done. The first time I tried five hour energy was to stay up to write an essay that I procrastinated with. Yeah. And I and it worked. It worked. And it kept me and it kept me up and I was like, and I wrote it and I it was bullshit and I probably got a C on it. Those things I, do work. Well, why? They don't taste very good. Huh. The the five hours? Mm -hmm. No, 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 they don't. They taste kinda like um chemicals. <laughs> chemicals. There's this uh I, like I can't medicine. remember what it's called. There's this medicine or this uh this medicine that's like, it's like Benadryl used to make your balls bigger, and I've been uh, taking it for the past like couple years. And there's no there's no like limit to how big the testicles can get. It's all just based on your routine of taking it consistently. Mm -hmm. I've noticed. Trust me, I've noticed. I could through your through your pants. Is that why you stopped wearing gym shorts? I mean, I, I kind of Is like the hoodie to cover up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I mean, I'm not embarrassed because I'm the one that's, like, doing this in the first place, right? So, like, I'm not, like, inherently embarrassed. I just feel like there is some sort of decorum involved if you are practicing testicle growth to the to the level and, ex and expertise that I am. Well, I'm uh, proud of you. Thanks, I mean, I, if it makes you happy. I, I think for me it's more about the commitment and the determination and uh, it, 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 it takes drive. Yeah. And I've been, and I've been, I've been losing drive uh, lately. You know, super mega, like, as much as I love uh, creating content for a children's channel, um, I do aspire to become a strong man. Mm -hmm. And a part of becoming a strong man is having big old fucking nuts. Yeah, I 100% feel you on that, dude. And if if it weren't for my heart problems, I'd, I would take the same medication. The palpitations? Uh, the other stuff the, oh. from the, the lasting... Um, impact from the cocaine addiction mm. but if if Amen. if i could i would take i would take it because you know i got tiny little nuts yeah they're tiny little suckers little they, berries they are they're like little berries it's, it's like really little twig and berries. berries yeah for real it's tiny man you got these big ass pine i love cones. them though they're, they're cute <laughs> shut up man. and i don't Come mean on. that in a demeaning way You're i mean me that in like a you know like i mean there's a difference between cute and hot right i got cute little nuts yeah, yeah i got cute cute balls but they jig a little when you bounce that ass yeah they do you know what i would do actually as a what? good prank what i would get an oversized hoodie mm. where the pocket is around where my nuts are okay and i'd cut a hole in the hoodie and i'd pull my nuts through it so they're inside the hoodie pocket okay and i'd be like Hey, could you reach into my hoodie pocket and grab my keys real quick? And and then someone would would reach in and they would end up grabbing Touch my your nuts. nuts. Yeah, that's not that's not sexual harassment. 
That's just a fucking... Not if it's to a stranger. That's a prank. If it's a stranger, it's not sexual harassment. As long as there's a camera filming, it's a joke, baby. Yeah, exactly. You can only sexually harass somebody that you know personally. So if it's a stranger, it's not, you know, considered sexual harassment. Mm -mm. I believe that's a law I read online, so I will be using that to my advantage to make some funny YouTube content. Remember the back in the days of of when when (laughs) YouTube pranks was just sexually harass... It was either sexually harassing strangers... Or, or staging uh, sexual harassment. Or uh, doing something uh, borderline incredibly racist in the hood. We made a video on Kids With Problems. It's mm-hmm. probably my favorite one we made on Kids With Problems. Yeah, Goofs TV. Goofs TV. What up, guys? It's Goofs TV. SoFlo Matt, SoFlo that Ryan. That's so long. That was. It was a long time ago. And Kids With Problems, our, our, our older channel, before Super Mega, we... um. Between Syndigo and Super Mega, and when we were doing videos on on Kids with Problems, rest in peace, Kids with Problems, uh, we made Goofs TV because it was right about the time when Ryan and I started making so videos flow. just by ourselves. It was it was the peak of the of the YouTube prank epidemic. Yeah, I called an epidemic. I mean, they they started doing like they were like fucking Facebook pages and shit. Mm-hmm. Facebook pages. I mean, in the the number of interactions that that kind of stuff got was unreal. Like you know, SoFlo Antonio. The man, the myth, the legend. Amazing man. Yeah, he uh, would receive a million, tens and tens and hundreds of millions of, of clicks and, and visits for his pranks. And uh, just for stealing content and stuff. You do, you do you know what happened to him? He moved to Korea and he like, like only actually, posts he speaks in Korean. Korean right? Yeah. Or he probably doesn't like know it. I think he learned, learned Korean. Well, good for him. Or it's just another sham like everything else. Dedication. He's done I yeah. respect that. But the... We got started making our modern era of videos. Man, it sounds so old and nostalgic now. Around the time when the big thing was it was H3 making fun of prank channels. Uh, yeah. Remember and when that? he was doing a bunch of stunts. I'm trying to think of what was... what was Leafy drama. Leafy. There was like Keemstar and Basher. Yep, Basherverse. And uh, oh, so, so, so many. If we go back and... Memes that were big around the time we started, you know? Here comes Dat Boy. Oh, shit, what oh, up? Oh, shit, what up? Is that boy? Is that boy the, the frog on the little unicycle? Oh, man, lots and lots of triggered. Triggered was a good meme. Triggered's still a meme. But it... it Not it, as big as it was. And it's but. a lot... Uh, it, it, was a, it was a little less cringy back then. Or at least we thought it was less cringy back mm-hmm. then. Probably, uh, yeah classic old super mega edit where we make an anti-feminist joke and then put the triggered picture with a bass boosted was tabuscus already canceled when we started or did he get there did he was he canceled after we started um tobuscus was was wrongfully accused of a lot of <laughs> awful things yes. uh i think it was it was after we got started i don't know we started april 12 2016 so what's crazy is is I'm not yawning because I'm bored. I'm yawning because I'm tired. Okay. No, I got you, man. It's past two a.m. now, isn't it? Yes, I don't like know, man. Something. Do you do you ever think about with Super Mega? You know, I I still feel like we're going strong. I I I still love doing it. I like I've said, I I love doing it now, no, equally or yeah, as yeah. much as I ever have, if not more. And I enjoy uh, more of the all the shit we fucking did this year. We pulled off like. Uh, you did your first kickflip. Exactly. That was incredible. But like, f- on the real, we did fucking several music videos. We wrote. We did. We wrote a book. We fucking sponsored a NASCAR. Um, and just like in general, like all the other fucking like collaborations that we did this year in terms of like we've been getting a lot of guests on the podcast recently. Mm-hmm. Um, drunk drawing is always fucking fun. Mail mail room. I'm always surprised whenever I look and see like ju- like what Justin did with one. I'm like, he just keep, they keep getting like better. In my opinion, I love them. I I like um, I like, I like where we're at them. a lot right now. I really like where Super Mega's at. Uh, I we're, there's still some feel... fine tuning to do because we're uh, we just recorded some let's plays right because uh, November we we've discussed it's a balancing act was a bit dry and we're trying to figure out what yeah. what makes us happiest working on the channel and i think kind of what we're doing now with the with the variety of live action if we can just add 
let's plays like turn up the let's play dial just a little bit sprinkle then, them in yeah. yeah then 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 super mega will be especially with those those other shows we want to do in 2022 yeah. all of that put in and the live action podcast it's going to be like the golden era of super mega and i'm so excited and it, i i just i love doing it and maybe you feel this way but sometimes do you think about like Damn, we started this in early 2016, and now it's about to be 2022. Some people were like, like, "I was I was a kid it's like, when God, I started watching y'all." After and now I'm 22 or something like that, and I'm like, "Fuck." Man. After my show the other night uh, with with Hi, I'm Chris and Frank and Justin, when I was out in the parking lot uh, talking to to people who came afterwards, uh, I had multiple people. I had two separate girls tell me. I started watching you guys in middle school, and now I'm in my sophomore year of college. That's an, and I was like, "What?" That's She's like, "Yeah, I was in eighth insane. grade, and now I'm in my sophomore year of college." And I'm like, "And they still find us." I it is something. I much love to the people who are new to the podcast or to the channel. Much love, but kisses. How? What is it like to essentially have like just grown up? And still be involved in the super mega community because I know I've seen there there has to be people who like there are people who grow out of it of course. Well, the community itself um, has grown up some too. I know people just laughed at that, but what I'm saying is like when we started super mega, it was Markiplier fans mainly, and the fan base of super mega was was very very young. And then we started acquiring more of a bit of an older audience. With the game grumps. Right, with much more mature content. Uh, and we now mainly, uh, our demographics on YouTube say that it's it's uh, between like 18 and 27 is like the biggest. I'd say it's like early college. Yeah, like, like whenever people recognize spot. us out in public, it always seems to be like a college student. Um, like young adult, and uh, we're past that. They've they've we're, grown our with age us. is way past college student. You know, doesn't that feel weird though? Because in my mind, I think it's because I didn't finish college. But in I my still mind, feel like a kid, right? You know what I mean? When I would think of, uh, I still feel like a a young, a young and immature motherfucker. Right. I don't feel like I am an adult. immature. We yeah. are immature. I never want to grow up. I never. I'm going to Neverland. <laughs> Super but Megaplex is a, is basically Neverland 2.0. That's, that's the frightening thing about a aging. You know, you're still like, for the most part, as the decades go on, like the same mental fucking thing, and the only thing that's aging is like your skin, right? And your organs and everything. Uh -huh. But like up here, it's not like there's like much aging that really goes on after twenty five. That's the thing. I'm twenty five right now, so so it's done. You're done, baby. Yeah, my 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 cookie's done in the oven. Basically, uh, twenty five is when your brain stops developing. So it's like around then. We uh, around then, you're when your frontal lobe matures. So it's like, oh, so now basically, I'm at the point that I'm just going to stay at and the only thing that's going to change it is going to be events and and outside stuff like yeah. my brain itself is is most likely not going to grow and change anymore so I'm at peak maturity yep um I have found honestly though like from 20 to now like the the number of stupid reckless or irresponsible immature decisions I make is is so much lower now yeah what 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 why did you say it like that what do you mean I just said my yeah. frontal lobe is matured, so I make better decisions now. One hundred percent. I can understand the consequences of my actions. Yours has been matured. You're almost twenty nine. <laughs> That's right. You know I'm joking. I don't. Actually. Okay, <laughs> okay. Good. I thought you I were like. like Does he really think? I'm <laughs> I mean, it's not that I wouldn't put it past you. It's like I could see your brain saying the wrong number and you not realizing. No, it. honestly. I don't know if it feels that way to you, but after, I feel like 26 is kind of the cutoff where everything after 26, it starts getting confusing to remember 27, 29, you know, like, we're like early 20s is so much easier because it almost feels yeah. like the difference is more significant. But then when you're up in your like later 20s and 30s, it's just very easy to be like 31, 32. For me, it was 21. 21. <laughs> exactly. My voice cracked and then I just turned it into one big goofy thing and I wish I hadn't done that, so... <laughs> But um, since 21, I I feel like time just sped up an increasing amount. I feel like I was kind of like years still felt pretty long. Now I have to be reminded how long years are by the by like what we did, whether it's like through Super Mega or my own personal travels. I have to go back and be like, 
oh shit, that was this year. Okay, 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 okay. Mm-hmm. You know that one of those cut types of thoughts. Well, what what what? That's what pulls me back and be like, okay, you know what? I can still do a lot in a year, and a year is still a lot of time, but it still feels like they fucking fly by. Yeah, they uh, they do. And that's what's weird is 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 twenty twenty felt like it was so slow because of the pandemic and 2021 it's just to me felt like it's flown by but then (laughs) there are aspects of the year i think about where i'm like oh that felt like it was forever ago like brand new shirt i was working on the year in review video like january february or so it was april was it april i was working on the year review video for 2021 right and right something something like that we got it out pretty quick from shooting it but i was just surprised at like Oh, that was this year. That felt like yeah. 2020. Um, NASCAR was this year. When was NASCAR? May. May 26th. That's right, because it was I May. came right after my uh, beach trip with the family. Yeah, dude. You... Went to Charlotte. Met you in Charlotte. That's right. I think I drove. I took my rental from the and beach to And you did come Charlotte. afterwards. I was, that was one of the best 24 hours of my entire life. I think because it went back to the basics of like, and this isn't to throw any shade or salt, right? But I do like the vibe when it's just you and me going out to places and being able to hang out because that's where I feel like uh, the chemistry of our friendship. So you're saying you're glad Mr. Silva wasn't there. Yeah. (laughs) The, The combination, like the combination of like our actual friendship and then our stage presence together it goes back it, it combines it, and is like really feels really good and fluid it's down to the basics it's like, down to the core of super mega like yeah. that, that at, at that point that is just super mega that's just you and me doing our thing and and it we're not acting like when it's just you and me doing these videos we're not acting it's just us fucking having a good time just together goofing and off. filming it and and that's why i love doing it because it's like we're making real memories and actually having a good time it's not but, like all right let's film then now, but we have to start thinking about like at what point are live action vlogs like at what point are we too old to be doing that shit? Because at the same time, you see people like Eric Andre who are decently older than we are, and that they do much worse shit in public. They're they're much they're a greater nuisance in public. I think I I don't think. I, I think that it's that's a limitation you put on yourself. I think that, like, you can... We definitely have to change the it's aspect. Our, right, right, because you can obviously get away with a lot more dumb shit when you're 21 yeah. than when you're, when you're 30. 30, right? <laughs> you so. know, you're giving them more of a pass, but I think that uh, I would like to keep doing this as long as you want to keep doing it and as long as you, the people watching are enjoying it, you know? I love yeah. I love what we've made and I love the community that watches it. You guys like we could not have asked for a better community. Like the the fan base is just fucking you guys are are hilarious. You get our jokes because I felt like at the beginning of Super Mega the fan base didn't get our jokes and they were watching us because of our affiliation with people like Markiplier and they watched us but they didn't actually understand like our humor necessarily mm-hmm. and you would look at the people watching you're like why are they like they don't align with us at all why are they like why do they think we're funny you're like why are they watching us and then we developed over time people came to us that have the same sense of humor and uh we developed this like real nice great little community and i and we love you guys and and i never want anyone to think that we're like ungrateful i want everyone to like realize that we love all you guys so much you guys are the whole reason we're able to do this and uh 100% super support. appreciative of like the support and just the fact that so many of you have been here since the fucking beginning mm-hmm. and some of y'all even before that with Syndigo or Kids with Problems I know that you've had a lot of experiences with people coming up to you saying I've been following since Syndigo or Kids with Problems whenever we do live shows or whenever you see a tweet someone about at that. the show the other night told me that they've been which is crazy Syndigo. because a lot of people didn't realize huh. that like, Sorry, Leighton scared me. Just that, walked out of nowhere. That the Super Mega Boys were the boys who used to work for Mark, or the we were the same people who did Syndigo, uh-huh. who did Blonde Boys. Right. A lot of people are still like, wait, y'all are the ones who did Blonde Boys? Yeah, a lot of people don't connect the dots. I see people like, I y'all have no idea you guys are Blonde Boys. What's up, Leighton? Oh, uh, I'm going home. Okay. Leighton, go home. All right, I'll Hasta see you, la man. vista, baby. 
All right, bro. Will you go home and feed those cats, brother? We know what feeding the cats means. Yeah, we know what that means. You can just say it. It, it, We know what it means. We know you're going home to bottom. It's all right. Power bottom, Um, nonetheless. Just make sure you're all clean up in there because it comes spilling out. Trust me, Ryan. I've been feeding the cats for a long time. Okay, 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 okay. He knows what he's doing. Okay, I'm uh, sorry. So when I can't stand up tomorrow, you'll understand uh, that I fed the cats pretty well. (laughs) Ooh, Ooh, those kitties had some fucking, uh, some meow mix. Hey, man, pound it. Pound it, bro. Hey, and pound it. Have a wonderful night and uh, sleep tight and don't let the bed bugs bite. For real, because I'm going to be honest, actually, you need to maybe change your clothes when you get into the office because the bed bug thing, I can I see the bites in your arms, and I'm just worried that when you come to the office wearing the clothes that you slept in, that maybe you're bringing the bed bugs, but um, just make sure, like, you've been doing the past few days, the the And it could just t-shirt. be acne, you know, no, no, acne, no. No, no solid accusations, but... Just change your clothes when you get um, to the office. I have like noticed. outside the front door. They do cling, so it would be easy. They they are incredible. I have traveling. I have a dog. One bed you bug. Know, came... I've already had flea problems. Uh huh. I don't need bed bugs. I thought being in like the bubble was like good enough. Mm mm. No, you need to. If they can, they're very they're sneaky bastards. So, um, you should get it checked out because the, you know in LA it's cheap like three hundred bucks you can get rid of bed bugs. Yeah, mm. but health insurance is, still haven't really figured that one out. Well, health insurance doesn't have anything to do with the bed bugs. It's, it's an excuse. Just met, just just try to figure it out. Diatonaceous earth. Sprinkle some of that around. It's it's it's. It actually works. Mm-hmm. Helps. Well, uh, uh, yeah. Well, a- after these ads, the gay will be gone. The gay of Christmas past. <laughs> you will become the gay of Christmas past. <laughs> Bye, Layton. Have a good. You have feed a good, those cats safe good, bro. Home. See you tomorrow. The holiday season is here, and with it come the yearly questions of. What do I wear to non-ugly sweater parties? And how do I maximize my time-savoring holiday moments and minimize my time shopping for gifts? Well, fear not, weary holiday wanderer. Mac Weldon has all the answers. Whether it's an office party, a party with family and friends, or a party in your pants. Get it? Yep. (laughs) Mac Weldon has your back. And their innovative daily wear system has taken the hard work out of outfit planning with pieces designed to work together for any occasion, saving you time and sparing you any extra holiday stress. As something of a stickler when it comes to comfortable sweatpants and sweatshirts, I was initially skeptical when I heard the hype around Mack Weldon's Ace Collection, but man, was I proven wrong. Pairing super soft, high-performance fabric with unmatched style? What? That's such a great idea. That Ace Collection is, is so epic. Like, when I go to a mother-son dance or a father-son dance, I just, I, I roll up in style. For 20% off your first order, visit MacWeldon.com slash super and enter promo code super. That's MacWeldon.com slash super, promo code super for 20% off. MacWeldon, get it right this holiday season. There's a lot of talk about all the benefits of CBD, but it's hard to find reliable products. Papa and Barkley creates award-winning CBD solutions for pain, stress, sleep, and everyday wellness. And unlike less effective CBD brands, they have an unmatched clean, chemical-free, whole plant process with proven results. I would do anything for the people I love. And Papa and Barkley understands wanting the absolute best for the people we care about most. It all started with a son trying to help his father find relief from debilitating pain so he could get his life back. Today, they're still putting the same care into improving lives with award-winning CBD solutions for discomfort, stress, sleep, and everyday wellness. I always have trouble sleeping, and I recently tried Pop and Barkley's CBD for sleep, and I'll tell you what, I, I put my head on that pillow after having some of that, and woo, I go straight to dreamland. It's incredible. It's so relaxing and, and really helps me get a better quality of sleep. And sleep is just one of the many things CBD can help you out with. Not to mention the packaging and branding is beautiful. Papa and Barkley founder Adam Grossman created the groundbreaking Relief Balm to ease his father's debilitating back pain. From that powerful homemade balm, Papa and Barkley has expanded to a full line of topical balms, oils, tinctures, and capsules, all made with 100% natural, clean ingredients in whole plant, full-spectrum CBD. Today, they're the number one cannabis wellness company in California, and with their CBD Relief Line, they can ship nationwide. They're bringing CBD to the common man. It's no longer some crazy thing you read about in a science fiction book. 
So listen to this. Poppin' Barkley's on a mission to improve lives through CBD and its purest, cleanest form possible. Go to poppaandbarkleycbd.com slash supermegacast for 20% off your first purchase. That's 20% off for new customers at P-A-P-A and B-A-R-K-L-E-Y cbd.com slash supermegacast. Go get y'all some CBD and improve your life. Get ready for the ultimate cozy winter night in. Brought to you by Beam. Beam is a functional wellness brand that makes CBD products to help you pursue your better and push the boundaries of what's possible. For limited time only, Beam's best-selling sleep product, Dream Powder Hot Cocoa, now comes in delicious white chocolate peppermint, just in time for the holidays. Swirls a peppermint mix with creamy white chocolate for the guilt-free hot cocoa of your holiday dreams. It's the perfect winter wind-down for those cold, snowy nights. Its triple lab testing contains the ultimate sleep-promoting ingredients, nano-CBD, reishi, magnesium, L-thionine, and melatonin. No added sugar or artificial sweeteners. Curl up with a cup of white chocolate peppermint dream right before bedtime and get your best sleep ever. You guys know I've, I've had sleep problems for a very long time. I'm not, I'm not a good sleeper. But when I have a big old cup of that dream cocoa, mm, boy, do I sleep solid. Listen to this. Jennifer M. wrote, I've suffered from insomnia for years. I've tried just about every supplement on the market, and this is by far the most effective. I'm grateful for it. Wow, Jennifer, that is something else. White chocolate peppermint dream powder only lasts for a limited time, so get it while it's hot. Great news. If you subscribe now, you can also take advantage of Beam's best sale of the year for Black Friday and Cyber Monday. You'll get 40% off the first three months of a Peppermint Dream subscription, plus a free mug and frother, or 20% off a one-time purchase. Again, this is Beam's biggest offer of the year, and they've been saving it just for you. And just like this new flavor, it won't last long. Head to beamorganics.com super. That's B-E-A-M organics.com slash S-U-P-E-R for 40% off the first three months of a Peppermint Dream subscription subscription plus free mug and frother or 20% off a one-time purchase pause or cancel anytime yum 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 i need some food and what better way to do it than with green chef Green Chef is the most sustainable meal kit out there. Enjoy your greens while being green. Green Chef is the most sustainable meal kit, offsetting 100% of their plastic packaging in every box and 100% of their carbon footprint and emissions. Green Chef's pre-portioned ingredients mean you'll actually reduce your food waste by at least 25% compared to grocery shopping. It's convenient and easy. Green Chef makes cooking easy so you can spend less time stressing and more time enjoying delicious home-cooked meals. You know, they're pre-made, pre-measured sauces, dressings, spices. They'll get you going bananas. Avoid long lines at the grocery store. You know, it's so convenient. Green Chef is deliciousness delivered. With fresh produce, premium proteins, and organic ingredients you can trust, Green Chef is the number one meal kit for eating well. Green Chef offers 35 nutritious and flavorful options to choose from every single week, featuring premium, clean ingredients that are seasonally sourced for peak freshness. Green Chef's wide array of easy-to-follow recipes mean there's something new to discover each week so you never get bored. And Green Chef's expert chefs curate every recipe so you can enjoy nutritious, restaurant-quality dishes at home without compromising on taste. Green Chef sent me and Ryan a couple of those Green Chef boxes in the mail. Let me tell you, we busted those suckers open and we cooked ourselves up a delicious home-cooked dinner at the Super Megaplex that was uh, restaurant quality. Never thought that we could do it. Um, nom, 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 nom. And if you're on a specialty diet, no worries. Green Chef's options for every lifestyle include keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, fast and fit, Mediterranean, and gluten-free. So whether you're looking for carb-conscious, gluten-free, plant-based, or calorie-conscious options, or you just want to have delicious, balanced dishes, Green Chef has flavorful, good recipes that are sure to satisfy. So stop wasting time at the grocery store. Go to greenchef.com super10 and use code super10 to get 10 free meals, including free shipping. That's right. 10 free meals, including free shipping. Go to greenchef.com super10 and use code super10 to get 10 free meals, including free shipping. Green Chef, the number one meal kit for eating well. We're back from some commercials. Have a holly jolly Christmas. It's the best time of the year. Mistletoes and friendly toes. Has Nathan done that song? I don't know. Have a holly jolly Christmas. You know, I was thinking, man. I was talking to Nathan uh, just the other day because album is out. No, it's is it out yeah. by now? It should be out by I now. I believe that Nathan's Christmas Four should be out on our YouTube channel. As Check it out, or available to download on our Patreon along with a bonus track that Nathan prepared for um for everybody to listen to. I bet you we're not getting a Nathan Four this year. 
Think again, losers. With how little they've been releasing this whole year. Nathan, uh, we released barely anything in 2020. 2021 has <laughs> been great. Nathan, I was talking to him, and he was telling me he was a little bit worried about 2022 because he's he said, the you Omicron? know. Omicron? No, he doesn't care about COVID. In fact, he oh. actually uh, has not been vaccinated and doesn't wear a mask. And that's a whole entirely separate conversation. But Nathan said, Good. Okay. he right. said, I've done so many Christmas songs for four years in a row. He's like, how am I? I'm re- he's running out of Christmas songs, essentially, especially with the addition of Nathan's Christmas. You sent story. him the giant list of songs that he still hasn't done that are Christmas songs. Uh, yeah, yeah. But but I got to fill like two or three more albums at least. Hopefully, you and know, they're good views. We get a lot of good. I swear. One, if we ever get streaming on this shit, to the moon. You know what hey, I'm saying? Hey, man, it's going to be like our own private Dogecoin. For real. Nathan, though, but here's the thing. There are a lot more songs, but Nathan's done all the hits. There are a lot of Christmas songs, but what if I, you know, he's worried that Nathan's Christmas 5, Nathan's Christmas 6, 7, they'll be just watered-down Christmas albums because it'll be all the ones that no one wants to listen to. Does- you know, there's great Christmas songs everyone loves, like uh, Last Christmas by Wham or... Winter Wonderland. Does he want to write his own songs? He might have to resort to writing his own songs. Mm. But the thing is, does anyone really want to listen to, like, Hark the Herald Angel? Well, that's even a bad example. Does anyone want to listen to, like, Merrily, We've Heard on High, or whatever that shit? I don't know. It's like, I saw three ships come sailing in on Christmas Day. Who who wants that (laughs) That's awesome. No one likes that song. I want to hear Nathan sing that. Okay. Well, I'll I'll let him know. That's reassuring. He still is... You guys are still uh, not on talking terms, but I I'm trying to work to get that fixed. Well, I did I did the track on the album, but yeah, it's still kind of the tension's not. It's not yeah, the, I mean, it's not where you'd like it. No, which it's, is no I, I don't think it's where he'd like it either. But well, it's his it, fucking never, well, no. Don't I don't think it's his fault for what happened. No. Of course you're going to take his side. No, I'm not going to take his. I'm not taking anyone's side. What I'm saying is I'm glad that you guys were able to record the track before. The falling out happened, but I'm not. What happened is not Nathan's fault, and I'm, that's not that is not me saying it's your fault. I'm just saying I don't think it's Nathan's fault. So it's not okay. Yep, I just don't want to talk about that. Okay, so we could just. Are you we, sure? Yeah, if we because uh, we can. I mean, maybe I'm missing something. You know, maybe I'm like. No, I don't think you are. I think if we moved on. Okay. Right? Sure. Just start the conversation. For um, last time we were doing a podcast in the van and the Halloween one. Yeah. If you look, I don't remember what the timestamp is, but maybe if someone wants to go listen and watch that episode, go check it out. At one part in the background, you can see like a, a rat. Like a rat <laughs> run behind oh, Ryan. Like, There's going to be another rat. There's gonna be like, a, is there going to be a Christmas rat this year? A little Christmas rat? No, because Leighton put up that that Jesus Christ backdrop so you can't see the fence the but big, oh, I bet you it was a big fat rat it was a big rat I just I noticed it but I'm sitting right here I'm about a, two feet away from the fence it ran by on outside this window right here so rats rats could be running by right right here and they can jump they can jump like a muck yeah they can yeah ooh is that Cuh. a ladybug I see a ladybug outside it's a little cold for you buddy isn't it is it br- is it is it bright red uh hold on my shadow's in the way I can't Hold on. Uh, yeah. It's bright red. Do you hear that sound that my drink bag, my Christmas like, juice made? Bam! Listen to this. There was this kid I remember in middle school. I don't know how he did it, but he did this thing where he went like. Oh, I knew a kid that did that too. The clearest water drop sound you, I'd ever heard. They flick their chin, go whoop. Yes. I don't know how they do it. And I didn't understand it. Yeah, I was. I remember being so impressed, being jealous of the talent. Ow, my hair is stuck. Come on, just rip it out. Ow. Like a band-aid. There we go. After the sh- so after, lights. after the show, uh, when I was talking to people, my hair was really sweaty during. The- so I really sweat during that show, and like like disgustingly sweat. And there's some pictures of it's me. Weird, because at the time I did not. Yes, in fact, at the time I could not sweat. I ain't no Prince Andrew. See, I was sweating up a fucking storm, and <laughs> that's the fucking greatest excuse <laughs> i didn't have sex with that underage girl because i couldn't sweat you know so and she it's said actually, i sweat and i did not sweat i had a problem where i couldn't sweat and you see the picture from the night it is arm around her and he's sweaty like a pig fucking british fucking pig fuck Prince andrew fuck the royal family honestly except for the cool ones like a pig who smells bacon he was <laughs> sweating hard you don't think prince andrew's a pedophile do you no, of course not. 
Why else would he have his arm around an underage girl? In a photograph with Jeffrey Epstein at Jeffrey Epstein's island. island. Um, Which that, was famous for... Sex trafficking and underage sex with children. But that's just, you know what? To famous politicians and celebrities. Who Prince Andrew is. But that do, that's, doesn't matter. Um, after the show, I was... You know, so I sweat really hard during the show. Yeah, you do. I was really fucking. I looked like the Crip Keeper in a couple of pictures because just like my hair is just, you know, my sweaty you face. You look like a Chucky doll. Yeah, yeah, that's a good way to put it, especially because my hair is a little bit red now. Because when I dyed it back to brown from blonde, I didn't realize that. I guess there's, there's a, a bit of a hint of auburn in there. Yeah, I wait, swear there's some like the dye didn't show that. I thought it was just brown, but it came out to be a little bit a uh, little bit of a little bit of reddish. And in certain light, when it hits. Like in the year in review video, you can see it too. Like it looks like I have a little bit of red to my hair. But are you the Joker, baby? Yeah. Mm, who knows? What we'll, we'll find. We'll see, baby. <laughs> um. The, yep. That's yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the um, reference. But basically, I looked over to everyone else on stage, and I'm like, Fuck, no one else is sweating. And I was like, oh, what? So it, it couldn't be because I'm out of shape because I'm actually Frank pretty... usually sweats a good bit was he not I didn't see him much? sweating Fr Frank sweats when it's just a regular day outside and it's 50 degrees yeah you look over and he'll be at, at dripping drenched leaving a trail on the ground but he wasn't really sweating I was so after the show I was you know I kept having to like push my my hair back and I had uh two or three rings on my hand and my hair was kind of nodding and I ran my hand through and it got stuck. Like, my rings, they all tangled my hair. And I, like, it was like this. And I couldn't untangle my fucking hand from my hair. So it was just stuck like this. So uh, there's one picture out there I took with someone where I'm just, like, standing there like this. And my hair is just fully caught in my hands. And uh, it's really annoying. I don't know why my hair knots so much. I use Olaplex once a week. And I use Olaplex shampoo and conditioner every time I shower. But it's still fucking knots. I don't, I don't, I don't know why. What? Just goofy ass man talking about his hair. <laughs> Come, don't look at me like that. Is that not true? Is it not true that this goofy ass man talking about his hair? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm a goofy ass man, and I am talking about my hair. <laughs> yeah, you are. I'm very self conscious about it. Why? Because it's gay. You keep changing it. I don't What's keep next? Changing it. I dyed it in 2020, and then I dyed it back at the end of 2021. Thus, I keep changing it. <laughs> yeah, and you buzzed it beforehand. I dyed it because and then you growed it out. You know, I, I dyed it back to brown because the comments were so mean. Did you? Mm -hmm. I like the platinum. No, I didn't. It wasn't really. That was only partially why. <laughs> but mm. I like the platinum too. I might go back to it someday. But um, I do like my 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 normal brown. I Are like you trying to get back to the your regular brown. When Your happens. lighter brown, or didn't you want no, to go for a darker brown? This is a darker brown than I know that's normal. a darker brown, but you want I like to, it darker. Want, okay. The lighter brown's kind of like an ashy color, and this is more like a rich color. Maybe you should try some, like, blue tips. <gasps> you know, I actually, <laughs> while my hair was blonde, I was that like... That was a good face you made, brother. Thanks, brother. Maybe people can make it as, a, like, an emote on the Discord. Uh, when, it was, when it was blonde, I was like, you know what? This is the only time I can dye it a color if I want, when it was bleached still, before I oh. dyed it back to brown, so I was like... I'm going to do blue or purple for a day, but I didn't do it because I was like, you should have. Mm. I photoshopped it and it didn't look good. And also I was like, <laughs> I was like, I'm going to look like a fucking idiot. <laughs> Come on. It would have been fun to have blue hair or something. You but... should just put a big red M in your hair. For, for Matthew Plyer? <laughs> yeah, for Matthew Plyer. I should have done it red. For Matthew Plyer game. Lord Matthew 777. <laughs> I was about to do a Lord Watson 777. What do you think Wade's doing right now? Besides having sex with his <laughs> penis. You think whatever time zone Wade's in, he's having sex? Boy, where does he live? Cincinnati? I don't know. He doesn't live on the West Coast, I don't think. No, he lives in Ohio, I think. Still? I don't know, man. I mean, they're... they're. I would assume, I guess. Markiplier and Wade and Bob's podcast topped Joe Rogan's podcast for a while as number one. Uh, so Damn. Joe was two and they were one on like on release because so many people listened to it. And they still do what? Distractable? What's it called? Distractable? Whose podcast? Mark, Bob, and Oh, Ray. I don't know. But, you know, they're, you know. Everything that man touches turns to gold. Mm-hmm. Except for our does. careers. Except for uh, our bank Come accounts, on. right? You know? There we go. <laughs>
There we go. Why did Ethan get Unis on it? We, we got in. Why didn't we get we Unis on it? We, we might have gotten in on the ground floor, but that's not when you should get in with YouTubers. Yeah. Maybe for like stocks or like yeah. a, you know, like a, like a company. But we were, we were just using Mark for sex anyways. Oh, okay. We signed an NDA about yeah, that. Yeah. Pfft, fuck off. Come on. You ever broken an NDA? No. You want to? No. I'm going to make you sign an NDA and then let you break it just I don't for wanna, fun. I don't want to break it. I'm going to make I it. want I want people to send me games early and I want to be I want to go to movie screenings early and I want to be pampered. We have signed uh NDAs before I guess for for game and movie and I think and, I signed one when I went to the whole Sonic shit maybe. Ah. Uh, and then we I mean we can been, you, we, can you disclose that you signed an NDA? Yeah. Okay. You can be like, "Yeah, I signed an NDA." Be like, "Oh, okay." Sea of Thieves has a digital like NDA code thing where if you're a part of the insiders program, which anyone could be a part of, which is crazy, it's just like, yeah, just sign up, just just link your Xbox account, but you can't talk about this anywhere they except for the forums talk about on it. this thing. They want the leaks. How many? There how many times? No, but people are so good, they really don't leak shit. Yeah, at least from what I see. I mean, our our uh, our viewers are good about that too. Like when we put something on Patreon, I'm like, don't tell people. Or when I put something in the Super Mega Discord, the Patreon Discord, because I, I like to go in there and tell them a bunch of shit early or show them shit early. Um, and I'm like, don't tell anyone. I don't hear about it on online. Good, which is nice. They're loyal, except for that like bastard dogs. penis Mike. Fuck yeah. penis Mike. Penis you know? Mike is on a fucking rampage. You know, he's like Icarus. Flew too close to the sun. And now, unfortunately, we're going to have He's to... He's about to fly too close to my fucking fist if he keeps it up. Yep. You know what yep. I'm saying? Too close to my fucking outlawed brass knuckles. You catch my drift? Yeah, my super mega the branded brass knuckles. that my knuckles. fist is leaving behind? <sighs> Straight into penis Mike's scum, smug, little fucking racist cunt face. face. He's very racist. Incredibly racist, dude. I can't... I cannot. It was a mistake having him on him. the podcast. I, I didn't know he was like that dedicated to that shit, but that's fine. Well, I didn't know he was racist at all. When I mean, we, it's when not first, fine. But no, it's, it's not fine. I'm fine with not he, being involved with Penis Mike anymore. Because no, not of, because at all. Of those controversies. Nobody should, especially because it's not their fault. It's his fault. I didn't know he was a Nazi. You know. Well, I did not see that coming. Hey, there you go. You know. Fuck Nazis, man. Yeah, especially Nazis this suck. Christmas season. Fuck Nazis. Can't believe that. I can't believe that in in twenty twenty one, like Nazis are still a thing. I can't believe it's not butter. That is one of the things that constantly blows my mind. More so than the Nazi. Whenever thing. you spread it on it, it's, just, it's like how, how is, is this it, not butter? How is it? This is one hundred percent butter. It, it is butter. It's not butter. But come, on. I think it's just the name. Mm -mm, it's what is not it? Butter. Then? What is it? I know you can't believe it. It's not butter. <laughs> no Isn't way, that wild? No. It's fucking crazy, man. What time is it right now? 2.43. Yeah. <sighs> time uh, to get a watch. See, my my brain's a little fried. We have been fucking going hard. Can you tell? Yeah. I'm sure this one's going to be so I, obvious. We're probably, probably very so incoherent spent. all over the place. I've just, we've been, we've been going hard the past week because, you know, the, the last two weeks before we go home for Christmas or the busiest of the year. I always really enjoy those two weeks. They're always very fun. It, whenever we do big There's crunches. There's so much I still have to fucking me do. Me too. I have to clean my place. I have to make sure Lego's set up for when I go hasta la bye bye. You know what I'm saying? You're setting them Stitch up? Stitch reference? Yeah. You know, it's uh, some of my fondest memories and in, in times of nostalgia with Super Mega when we do crunch periods. I don't know why. It's just like... I think like all of my stress in 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 my life, like the rest of the stress, like I can't really focus on it that much because I'm focusing on Super Mega so hard and just hanging out with you a lot. So like it feels good, and I. It's it's gonna sound weird. It feels like, in a it's like a weird form of edging. Like there's this constant like right before the holidays, just constant like fuck fuck we gotta get this shit out. I have this all this done on. Uh, fuck, what, what what do I have to do today? Oh, fuck, I'm leaving tomorrow. And I don't all, know what I do, yeah. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> you know, but then once I arrive at my friends, uh, usually I visit like Gray and Hayden, and then I'll visit family afterwards. When I arrive and visit my friends, and I'm in South Carolina, I'm just on the South Carolina, ro Carolina roads, I'm just like, ah. Like I'm, just, all is right in the world now. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, always all that I, all that content we made, all that stuff we worked on is all done. It's I need out. a refresh. People sometimes. are enjoying it, and that's the that's the most important thing. Is like, 
working really hard. That's what that's what pays off is working really hard and then seeing you guys enjoy it. Hell like, yeah. Like seeing the comments and the likes and everything and people actually like finding the shit funny or, or good or sentimental. I love the year in review feeling like sentimental. 2020s was not we didn't have as much time for it but 2021 is 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 a good one and uh we did a lot this year i love making it feel sentimental because i always i want to watch them when i'm like 40 or 50 and be like oh man I remember these, these are some funny guys who are they that's you what what <gasps> <laughs> yeah, it freaks out well but, uh, i hope everyone's having a good holidays i hope so and merry christmas to all of you because christmas is this week yep uh it's coming up yeah. Next podcast will be a post Christmas podcast. Uh huh. Post Christmas podcast. Uh, so enjoy and that. Love you guys so much. Thank you for the support. Twenty twenty one has just been fucking awesome. We 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 are so grateful for all of you. Uh, that's that's my Christmas present. Is is the love that I've received this year from from the viewers and the love that Ryan has 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 taken deep into his heart. Here's my Christmas present. And Holy I'll jerk shit. one of you off. Here, I'll give one too. That's all that I'm shit. doing, though. That's all. Oh, I'm not going all the way. Mm. Ruin well, it orgasm. Depends on them. Depends on them. They could be an early comer and then just be like, "Oh no, no!" And they're just sitting there, and you're like, "They're like, ah, oh," you know, like Mike. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. The jingle bell swing and jingle bell sing. sing. Snowing and it's blowing up bushels of fun. Good night, everyone from Super Mega. Bye. Merry Matt Christmas. And Happy Ryan holidays. Love the holidays and their fans. Mm -hmm. They love to make content Dance. and film in a van. In a van with Justin and, and Jackson, and Silva and Layton too. Dun, dun. Super Mega rules. Super Mega time. 2021 was fun, but 2022 will be better. For super mega fans, it'll be the best year super mega's ever had. So get ready to watch more YouTube videos. Yay! But bye, everybody. Bye, everyone. Merry Christmas. <laughs> bye.